Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I filmed this Perry Edwards Power music video inspired look. You have this gorgeous sultry brown smoky eye and then obviously these gold festival details. I wanted to recreate this look because I thought it was perfect for festival season. Like it would be unbelievable for any festivals you have coming up or concerts. Super quick and easy and doesn't cost a lot either for these jewels as you will see. I hope you enjoyed this video and we're just gonna get started. So please pass no remarks to me right now. I have one eyeball on. I haven't got my skin fully finished. I only have creams on. The reason why I didn't set it with powder was because we're gonna have to clean up our little shadow wing and to add more concealer. So if I had to put powder here, I would have been putting a cream pot, a cream product, grand. I would have been putting a cream product on top of a powder and it would have got cakey. So I just have all my cream product, my foundation, my under eye concealer and my cream contour and then I'm going to set it with powder later. I have my full foundation routine on this channel if you want to check it out later along with my brow tutorial as well. I'm thinking of doing an updated brow tutorial for this on like a fluffly, a super fluffly brow so if you want to see that let me know down below. So I am using mostly Inglot products for this just because they are my favourite eyeshadows. I don't use them for no reason. They're the ones I work best with. They're just super pigmented and I find them very easy to blend. For my base I already applied 95 under eye concealer by Inglot and just to set it I'm taking 503 HD Sculpt but you could just take any kind of cream eyeshadow or powder that you have. Moving on then to the eyes I'm taking this shade here number 300. This guy is from the Water Spice Collection so it's super pigmented. Taking this on a big fluffy brush with this is 6SS. I'm just going to start working that onto the top part of my eye. Make sure you bring down the product too far down here so that we can clean it with a baby wipe after. The reason why I do that is because obviously you want something to be able to clean up and if you don't bring it far enough you're not going to be able to clean it up. So what I do is I press on the product first just to kind of really disperse it into the outer corner and then I use circular motions to buff it out and then window wiper motions up into the crease. Again, making sure to bring it down too far so I am sweeping it downwards. I am going for a winged out shape as well so I'm making sure that I bring the colour out quite far. As I was saying these eyeshadows are super pigmented so they're a little bit harder to blend out. So what I'm actually going to take is this guy here. It's number 405 HD powder. Just any face powder that you use on your face and I'm taking this on a clean 6SS brush. I'm going to take him and I'm literally just going to blend out the very very edges of the eyeshadow. It's kind of like a blurring effect. It basically blurs the very edges of your eyeshadow and blends it seamlessly. Because these eyeshadows are so pigmented you can really build them up like you can use one eyeshadow and make them look like you're wearing about three so i'm going to go back in with 300 but i'm going to take it on a smaller brush this is the morphe r39 i really like the morphe brushes actually i got sent them recently thank you so much morphe i've been using them a lot and i do really like them taking the same shade i'm just going to keep this one a little bit closer to the lash line I'm using a smaller brush just because i want a little bit more control of this color the darker the color the smaller the brush you're going to use and the closer to the lash line you're going to keep it. So again I'm pressing on the colour first. Then I use circular motions to buff it out. And then window wiper motions up into the crease. So just keep buffing and blending it until you are happy. If you need to you can take your previous brush and just blend the very edges of it. Just so that there's no harsh lines. You're nearly bringing it onto your cheekbone slightly. Take a number 305, also from the Water Spice Collection. It is still brown, but it is more of like a yellowy brown. Taking him on this crown brush, so it actually doesn't have a name on it, but it's similar enough to like the blank canvas E26. And just really concentrating him onto the outer corner. Bringing it across also to about halfway across the eye. And then because this is a darker colour, you want to make sure you go back in with your previous brush and a little bit of the previous colour and just buff out the edges of that. Now what I've noticed about Perry in this look is she's not wearing an eyeliner, but because I'm going to be putting eyelashes on, I do want it to be like smoky on top. So instead of adding a liner, I'm just going to add an eyeshadow. This is shade 302, so it is a darker brown from the Water Spice Collection. And I'm taking this on a small 13P brush. So what I'm going to do with this is basically just apply it like a liner across the lid. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slightly blend that colour up into the darker colours we had also just to create a little bit more darkness. Then I go back in with my previous brush and shadow and just blend the very edges of that. 
Moving on to the lid then, what I'm actually going to use is this guy here. It's Morphe's Press Pigment in Rodeo Drive. Really like a rosy gold copper shade, so I love it. I'm taking him in my 22T synthetic hair brush. Synthetic hair brushes work best for these type of pigments or else your finger. I start from the inner corner first and then work my way out. I pull it downwards first and then I wiggle it across just to blend the edges. In the video you can see Perry's wearing a goldish kind of colour so this is Similar enough, I'm just going to take my brush and just very lightly dust the edges because I don't want it to be too, too harsh of a line. Then for all my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to use number 395 from Inglot. It's just a kind of whitey champagne-y shade. Taking him on a 13P brush and just popping it right into the inner corner. Now to clean everything up. Once you're happy enough with everything, then this is when we're going to clean up the wipe and then we're going to obviously cover the little bald gap with some concealer. Concealer also makes it stand out so much more as well. Good old Barbie wipe. So what you can do is, you know, wrap it around like, I don't know, a disposable lip wand or something like that. I'm just going to use my nail because it's handy for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it nearly like just straight outwards. I prefer mine to be a little bit more straighter as opposed to like kiki uppy. I'm just going to take it. Barbie wipe is just to get rid of the initial product and then the concealer is to really kind of clean it up and sharpen it. Just use your beauty blender or your finger then just to blend this out. This is why we don't apply powders to our face because if we did, we would have been applying concealer over a powder and it just wouldn't have blended well. I forgot to mention as well, the reason why I just do all on top first and I don't connect it underneath is because if I connect it underneath and then I try to clean it up, I'm going to end up with like a little triangle looking thing out here and I don't want that. What I do is I do all on top first, clean it up and then move on to my bottom. The next step then is lashes and mascara. So the lashes that Perry is wearing in this video are very fluttery, very winged out, just her usual kind of lash. First I'm just applying some mascara. I'm using the Rimmel London Super Curler. To be honest, any mascara does the job for me because I am bald. As you can see, I have no eyelashes. First to come to if you're looking for a good mascara because nothing works for me anyway. So the lashes I'm using today are the Lucy ones from Rebeluna. These are them here. They're super fluffy, super winged out and wispy. So if you do have a lash that has a thicker band like these, just make sure you give it a wee wiggle before you put it on your eye because the band will be kind of stiff. But if you kind of wiggle it and maneuver it, it won't be stiff anymore. You want to make sure you cut off from the outer part of the eye. My camera died. Of course it did. Of course it did. Basically, I just stuck on the eyelashes. You can see them there. Super fluttery, super girly. Also then I just powdered the rest of my face because there was no point me waiting to do that when I have got other videos on it. So you can just go check them out if you want to see my skin routine. Finish off powder my face just so the camera could charge and I could get the eye look finish and the festivalness finish. So I'm using the same colours on bottom as what I did on top. Starting off with 300 and moving on to a darker shade 305. Perry always has brown smoked out into her bottom waterline and then creating like a little tiny inner corner flick thing like you can see on this side. An Inglot cold pencil. It's a brown one. The number's worn off mine. I'm not sure what it is but if you look up their website you should find it. It's their cold pencil. Brown cold pencil. Popping that in and then running it through the lash line as well. Inner corner flick so I just applied it using the cold pencil as well. Just a little teeny one. It kind of gives a more elongated cat-like look. And then apply bottom mascara of course. That there's the finished look. Well finished eye look but Perry is wearing this super cool festival look so I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically I'm just going to stick on loads of different jewels and create little dots as well using stuff that you can get out of like deals, nail spangles as well. I'm going to be sticking everything down using duo glue and I'm going to be creating little dots using black gel liner. Yeah let's make me glitterful. This here is the finished look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Harry Edwards power music video inspired look. I really like how it turned out. You could wear this to any festivals you're going to, any concerts either. It's not too difficult. Super cheap and affordable as well. I just used a mixture of Inglot Spangles, Inglot Nail Spangles, those little jewel things from Mr. Price. And I use a few things from It's In Your Dreams. They're a company that specializes in festival like jewels. They're in 
seen and they come with like headpieces made. Make sure to leave your suggestions down below. What you want me to film is what I film. Make sure to subscribe as well already if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and YouTube obviously. All of that is Kaylee MUA. I'll leave all product details down below, whatnot, for you to just look at. Yeah, thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you in my next video.